Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to expand upon something that I shared in this week's Tip of the Week newsletter. And that is how to use the Internet Archive with your students. What I mentioned in my newsletter was to actually go in as the teacher to the Internet Archive and create your own collection of media that you then share with students so that your students aren't going out on the Internet Archive themselves and looking for media, but rather they're pulling from a gallery that you've already created for them. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm here on the Internet Archive, and within the Internet Archive, there are lots of collections of video. One of them that I like is called FedFlix, and all of these are U.S. government films that are free to reuse without any restrictions. So I've already gone through here, and I found one. I found this 30-minute video about Apollo 13, about the Apollo 13 mission. And what I did is I went over here, and then I downloaded the file. Now, I've already downloaded it to my computer for the sake of time in this demonstration. But now I'm going to go and create a folder in my Google Drive. You could also do this in Dropbox or Box.com. Let's go and create a new folder. I'm just going to call it Media for my class. And now that downloaded file, I'm going to drag right into my folder. And we can see it's now uploaded, or it's being uploaded. Now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to right click and share this folder with all of my students so that they can go in and they can access that media and download that media. Now you could also share this folder in your Google Classroom if you're a Google Classroom user. And again, you can do a very similar thing in Dropbox, Box.com, or in your Microsoft Team Drive if you wanted to do that as well. So that's how I would go about using the Internet Archive. Again, go in as the teacher, find some media, put it into a collection of your own, and then share that collection with your students. That's much better than just sending your students out onto the Internet Archive. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.